Have you ever wondered why you can't resist that extra piece of chocolate even when you're not hungry? It's a question that many of us grapple with, and the answer lies in a simple yet pervasive substance, sugar. In our modern society, sugar has become omnipresent, a near constant ingredient in our foods and drinks. It's in our breakfast cereals, our favorite beverages, even the seemingly healthy salad dressing we pour over our greens. It's not just about a lack of willpower, there's a biological basis to this sugar craving. Our bodies are wired to crave sugar because, in its natural form it provides quick energy. But the processed, refined sugars we consume today are far from natural. They're added in such large quantities that our bodies struggle to cope, leading to a cycle of cravings and consumption that's hard to break. Indeed, the sweet allure of sugar is hard to resist, but, at what cost? If you are concerned about your health and you feel that you are learning from our channel, please subscribe and join our family and hit the notification button so you won't miss any video. And if you would like to know what you will learn by doing so, please continue watching and the answer is in the end of this video. Sugar may taste sweet but its effects on our health are far from it. Sugar has a way of sneaking into our diet sometimes without us even realizing it. It's not just in cakes and candies but it's also hidden in foods we might consider healthy like fruit juices, yogurt, and even granola bars. Consuming high amounts of this sweet substance can lead to serious health issues, including diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure. Let's delve into the nitty-gritty of how sugar impacts our bodies. When we eat sugar, it enters our bloodstream and triggers our body to produce insulin. Insulin is a hormone that helps our cells absorb sugar and convert it into energy. However, consuming sugar in excessive amounts can cause our bodies to become resistant to insulin, leading to high blood sugar levels. Over time this can result in type 2 diabetes, but that's not all. Excessive sugar consumption can also lead to obesity. When we consume more sugar than our body needs for energy, it gets stored as fat. This accumulation of fat, especially around the waist, can lead to obesity, a condition that significantly increases the risk of heart disease, stroke, and certain types of cancer. And let's not forget about high blood pressure. While salt has been the usual suspect for causing high blood pressure, Recent research has found that sugar, especially the fructose found in high fructose corn syrup, can also contribute to this condition. High blood pressure can lead to serious health problems, including heart attacks and strokes. It's clear that while sugar may provide a momentary burst of energy and pleasure, it can also lead to detrimental health effects in the long run. The sweetness of sugar is a siren call that lures us into a trap of health issues, making it a dangerous addiction that we need to break free from. The sweet taste of sugar hides a bitter truth. It can seriously harm your health. Breaking free from sugar addiction is possible, and the benefits are enormous. Let's dive right in with some practical, easy-to-implement tips to help you reduce your sugar intake. Firstly, become an informed consumer. Start by reading food labels. You'll be surprised to find sugar lurking in unexpected places, like your favorite pasta sauce or salad dressing. Hidden sugars can also be disguised under different names such as corn syrup, dextrose, fructose, and many more. So, stay vigilant and make informed choices. Next, choose whole foods over processed ones. Whole foods are those that have been minimally altered from their natural state. They don't just contain less sugar, but also pack a nutritional punch with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. So stock up your pantry with fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Now let's talk about those sugar cravings. We all have them, right? But you don't have to reach for that candy bar or soda. Instead, find healthier alternatives. Snack on a piece of fruit or a handful of nuts. Satisfy your sweet tooth with natural sugars found in fruits or honey. And when you're thirsty, opt for water, herbal tea, or unsweetened beverages. Remember, it's not about completely eliminating sugar from your diet, but rather reducing your intake. And that doesn't mean you can't enjoy your food. Experiment with spices and herbs to add flavor without the extra sugar. And lastly, don't forget to exercise. Regular physical activity can help regulate your blood sugar levels and reduce cravings. Breaking free from sugar addiction isn't about deprivation. It's about making healthier choices that not only taste good, but also make you feel good. It's a journey, not a destination. So don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up. Just get back on track and keep going. Taking control of your sugar intake is a powerful step towards better health. Remember, every small change counts. So start today, and before you know it, you'll be living a healthier, happier life, free from the clutches of sugar addiction. I hope you benefited, liked, and enjoyed this video. And if you would like to know what you will learn from our channel, here you go. Hello, Diabetes Challengers. Welcome to our channel.
My name is Dr. Ali Qasim, and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta dough. And in that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm these medications made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. My references for food science uh, are Harvard University, Mayo Clinic, USDA, Food Standard Agency UK, and uh, Food Authority Australia, and other universities and authorities. I take the numbers and the research from all these sites and universities, and I will take the average and put it in my videos. And my references for medicine and nutrition are, uh, number one, the first doctor that I followed uh, since 2017, who helped me uh, to, to stop my medication and uh, treat and deal with type 2 diabetes, naturally, Dr. Jason Fung from Canada, who has three famous books, The Diabetes Code, The Cancer Code, and Obesity Code. Thank you so much, Dr. Jason. And Dr. John Yetkin from UK, who has a very famous and fantastic book called Pure, White, and Deadly, which I will give you its summary in the future. And Professor Tim Knox from South Africa, who has published more than 750 scientific books and articles. And he has been cited more than 16,000 times in scientific literature. And Professor Dr. Robert Lustig with his famous and great book, Metabolical, The Lure and Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition and Modern Medicine. And Professor Peter Gotze with his great book also, Deadly Medicines and Organized Crime. And other noble and great doctors whom all of them, all of them are against what this man and Keys has done to humanity. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83 which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.